Welcome back. We're doing a video on how to do a discounted cash flow. So this is my valuation screen. I think most people are familiar with it on my individual stock videos, but my pre-tax income times 10, that's just my rule of thumb method. And then the second one is a formula from Ben Graham and the intelligent investor. The last one is the DCF. And I've said before, but it's too complicated to do on a calculator. And I actually have a sheet running in the background of this to do that. But what I wanted to do today is show you how that discounted cash flow sheet works so that you can use it on your own. This is my DCF sheet that runs in the background of that valuation page that I showed you using those three assumptions of free cash flow, discount rate, and perpetual growth rate. So I want to walk you through how it works using some real numbers, okay? So let's say you have a company that's generating $50,000 of cash flow per year. After 100 years, they're going to have generated $5 million of cash. However, we still have two other things to consider, the discount rate and the perpetual growth rate. Let's talk about the growth rate first. Most companies, and hopefully ones that you're investing in, are going to be expected to grow grow their cash flow per year. So that growth rate is gonna be your perpetual growth rate that you put here. Each company is different. Let's just use 3% for this example. So if I put 3%, you can see here, this 50,000 is now 51.5 in the next year, 53.045 in the following year. And just to show you how that math works, look up here in the calculator, 50,000 times 1.03 is 51,500. And then if you multiply that by 1.03, you get 53.045. That's how it works, pretty straightforward. And you can see now the cash they generated has climbed from $5 million to $30 million over the course of 100 years. However, we haven't considered the discount rate, which is pretty important. So discount rate is how you address the following problem. $61,494 seven years from now is not the same as $61,494 today right? Because you could have invested that money and gotten more. So how do you figure out what that is? You put a discount rate. What number do you use for your discount rate? I see anything from seven to 15%. I use 15%. I think that's on the high end. I just like to be conservative. I actually think 12% is more precise. So that's going to be the example I use here. All right, 12%. And you can see that this $61,000 turned into 27,800. So just to show you this in the calculator again, if you had $27,817, today and you invested that at a 12% return for seven years, you would have 61,494, which is this number over here. So that's how that works. That's why we use our opportunity cost for investing or our required rate of return, two different ways to say the same thing. But that's the sheet. I mean, that's how it works for a single input cash flow. However, there are a lot of companies where you want to project out cash flow over the next four to five years, or you might have a company that's losing money now, but you expect it to be making money in the future. So how do you do a discounted cash flow for those? Well, this is how you do it. So I'm going to delete this number and then carry this down to like five years. And then I'm going to create another hypothetical company. So let's say there's a company that's losing $100,000 now, then they're going to be losing $90,000. Then they're going to be losing $50,000 and then break even, make 50, and make $60,000. Okay, and then from that $60,000, they're gonna grow at 3% per year. These are just assumptions on a made up company, but you can see how it works. The net present value is right here. It's right where this graph kind of plateaus a little bit above $200,000. So that's how you can do companies where you have a better idea for their cash flow for the next four to five years, but then you wanna apply a perpetual growth rate beyond that. One thing to look out for here is that no matter what, you never want your perpetual growth rate to be higher than your discount rate. It's okay for your growth rate here to be higher in the beginning, like here it goes from 50 to 60, that's 20% growth but to assume that it's gonna grow above your discount rate forever is a crazy assumption that's never gonna happen. But anyway, if you like the sheet, I'll actually send it to you for free. All you gotta do is just email me. My email is in the description of the video below. Put DCF in the subject and then write some kind of message that I know that you're a human and not a robot, and I'll send it your way. If you wanna see videos for individual companies, I got those on my channel, so check that out. And if you enjoyed this, like and subscribe. I'll see you next time.